Hello everyone, um, this is our belt review video for the month of April. So we got a wedge slash knee. Right, so we've got this, no I don't want a problem, no I don't want a problem, punch comes up right, wedge, right? You can certainly throw a couple knees off there, right? so we've seen that before. And then log roll and scorpion. Right, so I'm here, he's going kicky kicky because he's a big jerk, right? You guys remember defendo, defendo, notice this knee goes high, this arm is engaged, this hand is engaged. As quickly as I feel like I have an opportunity, I come up. Notice the head stays down, the butt goes up, both knees, arm low around the feet, down goes Thomas, up goes the good guy. Or, again, he's going kicky stompy, it's the same beginning, and then I start to come over and he steps away and there's nothing to get. So I sit into scorpion, top foot, place it, bottom foot, coming up. Shredder. And again, shredder tends to come off that wedge position. So again, bad guy's coming. Ah, I'm going to turn so you guys can see what I'm doing here. Right? And then um, those of you who are my level twos, right? Remember this hand comes here. All ah, right. And you kind of tap the face. It's that, that six inch spider. At some point, he's going to turn. You may push their jaw, but you really shouldn't have to. They're going to go. Notice I'm controlling this shoulder. Head goes one way, shoulder goes the other. I've got control. Once I've got that, I'm just going to take a step back and help him find the floor. Again, no, it's controlling the head, controlling the shoulder. And the KFM. Okay, um, and again, that KFM, it, it, it's a drill, right, guys? So, so that it's not like something you're going to have to like show me step one, step two. It's a, hey, you probably ought to be comfortable with, with this way of moving. And so if you guys remember, he's giving me this hug. I don't like it, so I frame out, right? I find myself back here. I might start my shredder and he reacts. And a lot of times I'm going to find an elbow or a back fist or a palm. I might fold in with both hands on my head, throw a couple elbows that way. And then, oh, look, I found my shredder again. Right? And most U level twos have done that more than twice. It's just we need to get good at it. And then turtle. Oh, so he's going to grab my head. Turtle. Frame out. Get off me. All right, so I find myself on the ground. He's hanging on my head. All right, so I'm going to frame out. Scooch the booty, scooch the booty. Leg over the top. Ah! If he does go, that's great. If he doesn't let go, I'm going to come around. I'm going to get mounted. I'm going to frame out. I'm going to stretch him out. And again, most of you should be somewhat familiar with that. Um, if you're a level two, there are a couple more steps there. So you hang on. Right, I frame out, I scooch the booty, I scooch the booty, I go leg over the top, he won't let me have it, so I can go leg over the leg. Right, frame out, squish, and on top again. If that doesn't work, right, so I scooch the booty, scooch the booty, leg over the top doesn't work, leg over the leg doesn't work, then I'm gonna step away, belly down. Same thing, come over, frame out. So, my turtle has failed. He's got my head, he's swinging me around, I don't like this idea. I step, control the knee, control the hip, and sit down, take him this way. Oh look, I mounted again. So again, the way we're drilling this right now, is patty cake, patty cake, patty cake. This is simulating punching, right? He decides he's going to try to take me out. I go, no, you don't. Frame him out. Controlling the clothing helps. I'm going to throw a couple of knees. That isn't enough to convince him. I'm going to turn my nose so you guys can see over Throw a couple of knees. I step back. And remember, the cue is come here, lay down. Notice I stay connected. Notice I've got good pace here. Okay. Yeah, he sticks up. <laughs> okay, you're good. So his swing strikes over the level ones, it's one. Coming back to the other side, push off. And so for level ones, that's what you've got, right? But if you're level twos, there's also two one. Notice the stick leads, right? Two one. Here's three. Tom's going to slow down so you guys can see what's going on. 
four, or there's four, three. And remember guys, this isn't a full instructional, this is just kind of a reminding you because you're supposed to know this, right? And then five, five. more than four barrels at this point. It's expanded. So if you're a level one, he grabs me around the middle, right, gets dirty, knock on the door, thumbs, step out, turn the page. However, if you're a level two, it gets more complicated. So he grabs me around the rail. I've got a couple other options from here. I can, um, he can start to lift. I can trap the foot, come down, on the foot. Some of you guys like that one better. Or there's that sort of Aikido style thing where I can step up the time, step behind. Right? And then if that isn't enough to convince them, I can also say hello to the um, Also, if you're level two, my arms are on the inside. Again, I've got some options. I can step to the side, say hello to Mr. Koch. Or I can step off to the side. And again, that sort of Aikido type movement. And oh look, I can grab the legs if I need to. Or if he's holding on, right, I can kind of do that duck thing. Um, from the front, my arms are loose, right handful face, certainly works. Um, or you can kind of come with that form against the throat. Some of you guys did it like you were doing that wedge drill. This is not really going to break this. But if I get under there and it was Adam's apple, that's pretty miserable. He's going to move. Um, my arms are on the inside. Of course, we can go ha -ha! up close to personal. Most of you guys are pretty comfortable with that. Um, or if I'm like feeling like that's a little too gross, I can certainly frame off on the hips. I think that's the headlock stuff. Mm -hmm. What else? Then, um, do you do legs of headlock escape? Yeah. Or the full Nelson Oh, the full Nelson Oh, yeah, I'm not worried about that. Yeah, that's it. Right. So, so if Hannah's reading the sheet right, then that is your um, level one and level two belt review for April of 2017.